Good evening, everybody. At last, we're back. Lockdown <laughs> is over. Myself and Ralph are out. That's it, yeah. So, following the guidelines, we've been able to get out as two of us. Hopefully, in about four weeks, five weeks' time, we'll have a full team. We've got loads of investigations coming up. So, get on the channel, watch this space. If you're not already subscribed, click it, subscribe. Tonight, myself and Ralph have ventured out to Anchor Church, which is in Derbyshire. Now, neither of us have researched this place. We've just been uh, got a few little snippets off people, haven't we? That have said, you've got to go. Highly active. So here we are. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I've had it on the list for about 18 months. Finally got over it. It's very much in the same sort of vein as Hermit's Cave over in Ilkeston, if you've seen that video. And there's a lot more to it. History dates back to, uh, what did I say, 6th, 7th century? Something like that, yeah. Um, and there was a, a monk that built this place, lived here and died here by the name of Bernard, apparently. Um, so Let's see if we can find him. Yeah, yeah, so uh, that's somewhere around. The, and the cave's been properly registered by uh, the local church since the mid-1600s, I think it said. So uh, I keep saying think a lot because like I said, we don't, <laughs> we know, don't really know Literally, uh, we've just had to do a Wikipedia on it. So uh, yeah, look up Anchor Church, Derbyshire, and you'll get all the history you need on it. Um, but we're here for the investigation. We're going to see what we can get and uh, just go from there, really. So uh, And on that note, let's get set up. Yeah. Let's crack on. See you in a bit. Okay guys, so first look at Anchor Church, as Ralph said on the way up, uh, it's very much Hermit's Cave like, uh, it goes quite deep back into the rock, uh, you've got first section over there which will start with the baseline test shortly, second section and a third section through there, you've got the river obviously behind us and over there, uh, right lead the way mate, let's have a look what we can get. What we got bud? Still zero, about 16, 16.1 has just come up as, so around 16 degrees. 16 degrees, yeah. yeah you can see the outline of this other uh, crop, so we'll investigate them a little bit more in depth. Ralph's just taking a reading for out crop number two. Absolutely nothing, still around 16 degrees, so we've got, we're, we're fairly consistent. Okay, we've got the wind chill coming through a bit more, so it's just dropped down to 15.9, 15.8. So, I can feel the wind coming through this bit. Yeah. As you can see, they've built this, they've put windows in. So, they've got windows in everything as well, and they're supposed to be doors. So, yeah. Uh, what a view. Yeah. Yeah, ain't it just? If just take you up there, guys. Just to see what you would have been looking at out of your window. Yeah. So, basically, you've got the river right there in Derbyshire. Yeah, no, we're. Uh, some people wouldn't like to be able to see that power station, I'm sure it wasn't there. Although, myself, I quite find them aesthetically pleasing for some very bizarre reason. I know everyone at home now is going, you strange person, and I totally agree. So, well, if you want a stranger, you won't be out there. No, exactly. You've um, not seen the room without to take it in here. <laughs> there is a fair bit of graffiti in here, guys, I'm pre warn you. And as we always say, if you're going to go out ghost hunting, please, please respect the places that you're going to go to. I mean, we always do we hope you guys will as well um we just can't say for everybody else unfortunately so we'll just move into the second chamber if i don't kill myself getting over oh crap <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm in that's it then. we're here so, right, so slightly different so 14 7 again no emf reading so absolutely zip so we do know if we get any sort of readings to do with the 
we have some sort of doorway, that is, isn't it? I think. Yeah. yeah. It would have been anyway. These all look like another window. Yeah. Maybe this would have been the doorway over here. Ralph's backpack, another window here. My backpack, another window. Beautiful place. Yeah, and there's one of the. This would have been a doorway. Look how smooth it all is and everything. Yeah. The care it's taken just to. And this so is, anyway, so this is really the third chamber. This one's got quite bad graffiti in here, guys. Oh, yeah. so. So I've got about 14, 14 to 14, 2, it's been flickering slightly. Still nothing on the EMF though. Absolutely nothing. No. No, so. Um, so, I'll put the baseline test results up. We're sort of expecting now on the screen, guys. You should be able to see them now. Um, interestingly enough, I don't really feel anything in it here at the moment. Not no, in the minute. Just it just feels like an interesting historical site. Yeah, but it feels quite serene Yeah. at the moment. That could be just to do with the surroundings. You know, I mean, it's a beautiful place, the power station again. Yeah. It's anyway, weird. Um, but right, what we'll do, guys, um, we'll probably get set up, go into night vision, and we'll see you shortly. Right, guys, um, so we're starting the investigation now. Just a quick look at the landscape in night vision. So that's areas two and three, which will be crossing in a moment uh, there's the view out the window again beautiful and there's Ralph the best view the best view <laughs> <laughs> and we're, we're starting in section one and as you can see just behind Ralph if I just come round on the floor once the camera decides to focus in uh, we've got a REM pod Ralph if you want to give a quick demonstration to what we're looking at so if something comes here to affect this it's got an area you can see though in there, we've also got two more REM pods and a cat ball by each. Although they're easily far enough away to not set the REM pod off. So if either of them go off, it's going to be increasingly well, interesting. They won't set the REM pod. So we've got another one that's exactly the same as that, and then we've got another one that comes on with a green or light and a purple light. Yeah. So I've got the dictaphone on. Here we go then. So Monkey Church. Here we go. Pot. Oh, sorry, section one, shall we say? Section one. Section one. Don't panic, everyone. This is not going to be many parts. <laughs> we won't end up with the series. It's not going to be a long video. Yeah, anymore. Anchor Church. Yeah. So we go around Anchor Church. So if there are uh, any spirits here that wish to communicate, can you let yourself know, please? I'm holding a dictaphone. This records your voice. So if there's anyone here and you want to come forward and speak into this, do so, it does not hurt you. None of this equipment will hurt you. We are here with the utmost respect. On the floor, you'll see a little black box, or to you, it might look like a bit of a black brick with a stick sticking out the top. If you go near it, it sets an alarm off. There's two more in the main building, so if you don't want to come close to us, there's two more over near your door. Um, so if you want to go over there and set one of those off, we will hear it, it will set an alarm off. Do not be scared of it, it will not hurt you. Please come forward and let yourself know if you're here. Can you give us a name? Can you tell us how old you are? There is some wildlife around us guys, with them sort of areas. So we expect to be picking up on them. Bernard, if you're here, can you let us know, please? I believe your name was Bernard, the monk that was here. From what we've read very briefly, is that you died here after uh, allegedly committing a crime came here to repent. Can you let us know if you're still in this area? Are there any other spirits here that wish to communicate with us? Bernard, if you're here, can you come forward please? We've travelled a long way to come and see you. 
can you make one of the devices which are sat on the floor can you make them beep all you've got to do is walk close to them or can you say hello to the device that Ralph's holding in his hand or can you make the lights on my meter go from green to red please all you've got to do is come nearer to it it'll pick up on your energy can you come forward please can you make a noise or show yourself Still on. We'll hear it if it goes off, yeah. but that's the good thing about that one, isn't it? <laughs> Having the alarm on it. Yeah. If there's any other spirits other than Bernard here, can you come forward, please? Can you show yourself? Can you walk towards me? Shake my hand. Let me know that you're here. Are you supposed to do like a fist bump now? It's <laughs> like <laughs> Covid then, would not it? You don't know that. No, it's more likely to be the black plague or something, isn't it? That's more reason to fist bump it then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guy. That's the Covid jokes out of the way for the night. That's it, yeah. It's always one. <laughs> um, okay, then. Shall we uh, move across into the other area then? We'll leave these devices on the floor, the little black boxes, so if you want to come and affect them, please do so. I'll be honest, mate, I feel nothing here at the moment. No, Not no, at the moment. It's nice and serene. It's, it would be a nice place to come and sit it's and chill, you know. So this is the second section. There's the second REM pod, and to the left of that, Ralph, can you just go and point to where the cat ball is for me, or can you not see it from where you are? Just there. Just there, you see it, guys? So this is a REM pod, there you go. So that's me affecting it. The cat ball is just here. There you go. And it's just, I'm not sure my vision. Okay then, so we're back in the main room here. So if anyone's here, can you please show yourself? Can you come and affect one of these uh, boxes that's on the ground? I'm doing dictaphone again. It's duck noises we're getting. Just ducked over in the river. Bernard, if you're here, can you come forward? Please don't be afraid. Can you move towards one of them pieces of equipment on the floor? They won't do any harm to you whatsoever. The, the black one with the little stick on top, that makes a noise and flashes. And the little round one, if you give that a little push, that flashes as well. That's all they do. They're children's toys. So you don't have to be afraid. You're right, dude. I won't put the dick's phone on now because the battery's gone. Oh, I'm not turning on. Okay. So we'll, we'll do the dick's phone again in a minute. <laughs> yeah, we'll never break. Yeah. Um, still professional, as you can see. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, I thought. I thought I saw some shadow move over there. Yeah. Do you want to go and check it out? It was... Yeah, there's a little window there. There's the door? Yeah, there's a little window next to it, just in front of the window, so between the window and the door. Okay. And there's a little bit of... Bernard, if you're here, or if there's a different spirit, can one of you come forward, please? Could you go and stand near one of them pieces of equipment? Or make the lights flash on the cat balls? They're just children's toys. We've brought them because people like to play with them. It shows us that you're here. Can you come forward now, please? Can you make a noise for us? I'm just going to put my K2 meter down a set, bud. 
Bernard, can you copy me, or if there's another spirit here, can you copy me, please? Can you copy what I do, please? Sensing it? No, not now. It's, uh, it's just whatever was blocking that window. Yeah. I mean, skeptically, you could argue that was it because I was coming here and I moved around, was it calling me iron syndrome, you know? Could have been. You know, I mean, just, just saw that. It was. But I don't know. It's just because it just seemed to have. It literally just went from. Like I say, between that little window and the doorway, mm. it just went across like that. Smooth, but it happened really quite quick. Okay. And it, it went from right to left as my hands moving across like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I like I'm, getting the, I'm getting the sense that something's trying to build up. Really? Yeah. It's okay. Well, I hope so. Yeah, so do I. I hope I'm right. Mm. Obviously, I, I think I can feel the temperature dropping. But it is, I mean, night we're is drawing in. Night's drawing in, we're next to the river. Yeah, you know, so. I'm being sort of like a bit of exposure, it's coming through. Unless it's something of drastic significance, I think we've got to discount that, but. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, for, yeah, all I'm saying is it's for. It's for yeah, me, yeah, of course. You know, so what are, you feel, what are you feeling building up? I don't know, it's just like a. It's almost like the, it's, it's trying to charge off a bit. Yeah, okay. Are there any spirits there with us? Please come forward. I think it's time to break out the app. Talker or? I think the uh, new crowd, because I think that's a bit more active, isn't it? Let's go for it. Are there any spirits here with us? Can you give us, can you give us your name? Dave. Yeah, Dave and Lucy then. So, so let, let's introduce ourselves. We're, we're from uh, GSI. My name is, my name's Ralph. My name's John. Ask, ask him what? What? Who's asking what? <laughs> Can you tell us your name? <laughs> What's your name? Sorry. Well, sir? I'm not sure. Can you repeat your name, please? If you just said it. Can you repeat your name? Did you just say sacred ground? Did you say sacred ground? Sure. It's either sure or John. Yeah. Did that say ugly John? She's a bastard. I'm not sure. <laughs> can you can you tell us where about you are? No. As you was asking, I'm sure you said behind and then no afterwards. You in the doorway. Yeah. 
What's your name? John. Oh, I've John about four or yeah. times. I've heard John that time. So is that <coughs> this person's name then? So, is your name John? Say it is. Yeah, it is or yes. Yeah. What's the name of this place we're in? What? Do, do you know the name of this place? Is there a Bernard here? So no. Did Bernard used to be here? No idea, mate. Did that say kill me? Um, I'll know when I look back on the edit. Yeah. <coughs> Fool. Did someone suffer in here? No. no. Sure, I said no. You either said no or demon. How many spirits are here with us? How many spirits are here with us at the moment? It's going to be a different view back. Yeah. <coughs> Just so you know guys, when you see the captions um, while you're watching the video, that's what I can hear when I'm playing the edit back through my headphones. So that's what I'm picking up. If you ever hear anything any different, drop us a, a comment. Yeah, drop Let us a comment. Know. Yeah, definitely. Can I ask you again how many spirits are here with us at the moment? Yeah. How many people have died in this room? Ten. Hush, higher ten. <laughs> Were they sacrificed? Yes. I thought I had a demon then, isn't that? Is this an unholy place? Has there been sacrifice here? What is it? No. I'm sure that's the words you're talking about. Yeah, probably. But then you hear something like that, <laughs> which yeah, no. contradicts what they're saying. Was this a church? <laughs> I think there was a yes somewhere in there, bud. Is there a monk here with us? Did a monk die in here? Jesus. What's that? Don't know. Never heard that. No. Do you mind us being here? Do you want us to leave? Oh. I think that said not at all. And then sorry. Yeah. I'm sure he said I'm sure he had not at all. We, well that's good. <coughs> yeah, thank you. If, if you don't mind us being here, we're we're happy to be here. We are here with your most respect. Yeah. 
shoot the door. The doors. Um, we, we we can't shoot any doors. <laughs> That's what you said. Let's just wrap turn the speed cross. So yeah, there's the doorway. Uh, where did you put the rem pod, bud? Just just sit there on the floor. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's the rem pod. Yeah. Down, Straight out of these two points, isn't it? Rempod there, uh, cat there. As of yet, we've had nothing on any of them go off yet. So we're just going to start on the uh, spirit talker in a second. I'm just going to put this uh, speaker there. There's all the Rempod cat balls to the right of that somewhere. It's just there. Here we go. So this is a spirit talker. Um, we use it as a bit of a, a compass, as a direction as we want to go. So, uh, are there any spirits here with us? Is there any spirits here with us at the moment? So, currently, as it stands, we're uh, speaking to no one. The red light reflection you can see, guys, is the IR light reflected off Rav's phone. So, uh, yeah, the red light, don't worry about that. Oh. True. Well, oh, thank you. Well, we don't lie. Are you a monk? Let's be friends. Okay. Yeah. We would love to be friends. To be friends, can you tell us your name then? My name's Ralph. My name's John. What is your name? Grace. Grace. Hello, Grace. How old are you, Grace? How old are you? Unlikely. So she won't tell us. Yeah. Okay. Did you die here, Grace? A man. A man. Did she die among others? Um. <laughs> That's it. Were you sacrificed with others at the same time, Grace? The question is, how did she die? Well, I hope we will get to that. Grace, were you and others sacrificed? Open. Hey. Open. How did you die? Is that you moving? No. Where from? Uh, your left. Grace, is that you we can hear moving about? Trying to have a film and walk around. I can just keep this going, Connor. Yeah. So if you keep that. What's that? Evidence. That's what we're looking for. How did you die? 
It's just not. Other than being an interesting place, I don't, I'm not getting a massive amount at all. No, me either, mate. It feels quite flat, to be honest. Yeah. Edge. What'd she say? Edge. Edge of what? She on, she on one of the edges? Yeah. Edge of the window, edge of the door, edge of the hill above us. Yeah, edge of the clear, anything, couldn't it? Insist. Edge, insist. I'm not really sure what she insists on, to be honest. What year did you die? Jordan. What year did you die? We ain't getting a great deal, mate. No. Should we go over into this corner and try a little bit? What you say? Demand. Demand. Okay, let's go into this corner and demand something. Okay then. We stuck in corner. Here we go. So if there's a spirit here with us now, we demand that you come forward. I feel bad saying that. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I can't do that. I don't, I don't want to demand anything of any spirits. No. Yeah, it sounds harsh, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, I don't like that, mate. I'm not gonna, no, I'm not gonna ask that again. We apologise for using the word demand, but yeah, we were just trying to reflect on what you used. Again, we're here with the utmost respect. Wood. Fire. There is evidence of fires being taken place in here. There's remnants of wood there, look. Mm. But then, you, again, that could be anything. Yeah, it's just trees. A, it's just a fire, is it? Does it mean wood is in the tree line? Could be. Could be the wood up, up top. Were you murdered in this area? Go for it. Did you have an accident in this area? She got a question for us. If you do have a question for us, then speak into the camera. It will pick up your voice as well. Our question to you is, did you have an accident in this area? She had 20 accidents. That's what sounds like. I think we're going to stop this spirit talking now. Eh? It is, so there's a REM pod. So you came past around here and then sort of turned around here, didn't you? Mm. Right, and so to get set it off, you get that button, it wasn't that close. close. So what we've just had, guys, is I was we were just debating whether to call this a night because it's quite flat here. 
uh, and my path was through there when the camera focuses and I walked I did walk past the REM pod and I was about to put the torch on there so we could do an outro the REM pod went off I personally don't think I was anywhere near it enough to set it off but it's one of them things where we can't guarantee so before we call it a night and do an outro let's see if we can get that to go off again because it was just as we were speaking about leaving is when it went off so this is what we're going to do so we're Yes, I think in a minute then, if no, nothing happens then we'll, we'll crack on and get out of here and if yeah. there's any, anything in the area then we can leave them be um, we can let them fall through, can't we? Mm. Um, so, if there was a spirit here or if there is one now who made that REM pod go off by getting close to it can you do it once more for us please? Can you make it flash and have that noise go off again? We are going to have to leave if you don't set that REM pod off for us. So if you could just walk near it, you do have to go quite close to it and touch the stick on top. You don't have to physically touch it, we'll just be near it, but you have to get close. Can you do that for me now? So I just love the bloody thing went off when the camera was off. Don't like being filmed. No, we find that a lot of places though, don't we? Pick a pick one of the uh, the round pods as they call the black boxes to go close to. That's not being filmed at the moment. We'll, we'll still hear it. So you've got one on the far side near the door, and then one near me, but I can't see it from here. So it's just round this corner as I'm pointing. So if you don't want to check the one that's in front of us. Can you do one of the others? We'll make you a deal. If you set one of these off, we'll go. We'll, we'll stop filming, we'll do our outro and we'll go now. If not, we're going to hang around for a few more minutes. So build your energy up. Come and visit this wonderful place one more time if you're not already here. And look out to the world as it stands today. Can you do that for us? Here we go then. So that's it then. Anchor Church, uh, short. Um, on the face of it, we didn't get an impression that there was anything here really. I thought I saw something. Couldn't be hundred percent proven. REM pod, bit of activity again. More likely have been. Me, I think. Yeah, yeah, Probably. when you walk past it, because they, they, they've not gone off since. Um, yeah. So, yeah, on the face of that, yeah, yeah another one on the list. Um, yeah. Very yeah. quiet, very yeah. short video, guys, so we apologise, but like we always say, you see what we see. If it's a quiet night, you won't get much of a video, but we'll do our best. Hopefully, you enjoyed it, and if you're local to this area, then you'll be able to determine whether you want to come down and check it out yourselves or not. Mm, Full of history. You know, in the summer, great place to have a walk yeah, around. Definitely. Um, at the moment, we're just freezing our tits off because the wind's blowing <laughs> through the doorway. So, <laughs> on that note. <laughs> yes. So, guys, thanks a lot. It's great to get out, nevertheless. Um, yeah, watch mm. out for the rest of the videos. We've got some good stuff Absolutely. coming up. Absolutely. So, please like and subscribe. Stay safe, everybody. Yeah. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. See you.